Hello again, this is going to be a quick teardown video of this pretty worn looking set of bathroom scales. I replaced these recently because they're just not giving an accurate weight at all anymore. It's It can vary up to about 4 kilograms. Uh, sometimes I use these to weigh parcels to send so they're obviously no use at all for that sort of thing. So I thought what I would do is have a quick look inside, see how this thing works and then pull out any useful bits and pieces before I chuck the metal work out for scrap. These scales have got an LED display in them and they must also have some kind of sensor to detect when the scales get knocked unless it uses the weight sensor for that. Because as you'll see if I, if I tap the scales then they do this little flashy sequence and that's them calibrating the weight to zero and then once it gets to zero you can put some weight on them and they'll start weighing. The screen's flashing like that because the camera's not in sync with the LED display. One other thing that's been happening with these scales is sometimes they come up with uh, sort of a code scrolling on the screen. I'm not quite sure what it means. Uh, it's FA7, 8A5, 7A, RD. So if anyone's got any idea what that might mean, it'd be interesting to know. So on the back here we've got this little slider switch and all that does is allow you to select the units that it uses to, weigh, to show the weight. So you've got pounds, stone and pound and kilograms. And then this little square here is normally covered over with a bit of plastic. And there's some jumper settings in there, I'm not quite sure what they would have been for. Probably some kind of factory configuration or something. In order to get into these you have to unhook these springs that are in these grooves here. lift that up and then let that drop in there. I'll do the same on this side. And now those springs have been released this top plate will just come off. Normally this would have been covered with a piece of plastic like a grip for your feet but that's unfortunately come off a long time ago. And inside you've got this mechanism to spread the weight. The idea is that you can see here this base plate, there's these different points and they bear down on these, these metal supports and then that will spread the weight evenly, or it's supposed to, but it doesn't seem to do that anymore, which is why these are no good. That will spread all that weight onto this part here and this will be some kind of a tension bar and the bending of this piece of metal will create a resistance difference which is then detected by the circuit board and then translated into a weight. I think they're normally a bimetallic strip so you've got two different pieces of metal bending together I think unless that's a thermostat I'm thinking of. So you can see here it's a fairly simple construction really these are all just hung on top of each other, the, the springs pulling the lid down is what keeps all of this held together. It, otherwise it's just, it will pretty much just fall apart. So there's a bit of glue or something on the end of that, holding that in place. So all of this will just be put out for Scrap metal, someone will come by and pick it up. Some springs, I'm not sure there'd be any use or not. So again that was scanning them, but I don't know if it's this metal strip or something else. So I'm just going to remove this if I can. So what will be interesting now, now this is detached from the rest of the scales, is to see if I tap this whether this then tries to do its calibration. Which it doesn't, so that means there's some other sensor on here which is picking up that knock, you see if I do it again, to make it go into its calibration. I'm just going to remove the battery as well now because we don't really 
we're not really going to achieve anything now because we can't weigh anything. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to, out of interest, whether I can put any bend on this to get a Yeah, that's showing a weight reading, trying to just bend this metal bar. Obviously the amount of bend is very slight, so it's, it's got to be quite sensitive to translate that. Let's remove that from there. I've got the battery still. So I'll just uh, disconnect the battery this time. And it looks like this is just pushed on with some plastic posts here so if we squeeze these together then that should be removable okay so we've got what looks like a, a piezo type sounder on the back so that's possibly what's used to detect the uh, casing being knocked to activate to activate the calibration sequence because there's nothing else on here that's obvious that would be uh, a sensor really not that I can see at this stage and these scales don't beep or anything they don't make any noises so it would suggest that it's being used like that and also the fact that it's been mounted hanging over like this so, so that it's sensitive to, to being knocked so let's uh, let's reconnect the battery again for a minute, and we can perhaps test that. So again, it's trying to calibrate. So if I just yeah, just a gentle gentle rubbing of that, so to speak, and that sets it off. So that. That's basically a piezo sounder being used to detect vibration or a knock to trigger the calibration circuit. It is labelled as buzz, but it's clearly not being used as a buzzer. And then there's this jumper here, but there's nothing on the PCB that indicates what that's actually for, what, what possible options that could be. Uh, I mean, we could try taking it off and see see if anything happens. So that at the very least seems to stop either stop it working altogether or prevent that sensor from working. No, it just worked once and then it came up with an error and shut itself off. So no, so that not really sure what that does. Seems to only really work properly in that one position. So we've got a seven segment display here with one, two, three, four digits. It actually looks very much like a, a display you'd get on an alarm clock. I don't know if that's visible on the camera, but you've got um, a segment, two segments, and then you've got the double dot and then two more segments just like you would have an alarm clock so this is probably a fairly standard display that's used in clocks and scales and all number of different things so let's uh, disconnect the battery and we'll just take the board off of this plastic carrier see if there's anything to see underneath That screw's been uh, pre-chewed by the looks of it. I'm going to get that out with a screwdriver. Okay, so we've got some more bits underneath There's a, a blob chip on board there, which is 
clearly that's a mountain for an IC, a surface mount IC, and what they've done is create a blob chip on a separate board and then solder that to the main board. It looks a little bit like if it did have numbers on they may have been rubbed off which they annoyingly sometimes do. There's no markings on that. So that's since 1963 so I'm guessing that's when uh, when this company was perhaps founded. I don't know if there's salt as science or something like that. I'm not sure what make scales they are. It's interesting that on the end here you can see some double sided tape or something as well. So it looks like maybe they double sided tape this down to stop it moving around and then it was soldered. And then on this side we've just got a few more components. I don't know what what this chip here is. Like again it's whatever markings were on there looks like they've been removed. That's definitely not the normal surface you'd expect to see on, on an IC, so it's been either scraped off or lasered off, I would say. Because obviously, uh, Wayne Scales is a top secret technology. That, yeah. So, there's not really much to see here, to be honest. It's, it's a pair of Wayne Scales. What more do you want? Yeah, so thought that would be uh, worth a quick look. So maybe the display could be of some use. Um, this is probably not something that's going to be any, any use to me. And you could perhaps, if you wanted to, set this up on another mechanism and recalibrate it, but yeah, not much point really. Okay, so that's it for this one. I shall put these bits probably in the parts drawer. The display might be useful, maybe, maybe not. This is probably no use whatsoever the rest of the PCB and the rest will just go out for the scrap man